Face for radio, boys. And ladies. Okay, speak for yourself. And ladies, yeah. <laughs> me, yes, me. Actually, my phone's on silent. Actually, I have one of your guys' optics. Rookie mistake, I know. Do what? Another one? Either one of these between these two guys. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Guys, we're back live here at the Century Orange booth, booth number 11962. I want to thank those guys. This is our last guest. I want to give a huge thanks to Century Arms for welcoming us into their booth. Uh, we know that square footage uh, at Shop Show and any other other conventions like this. Well, sounds like they're eight. They're. Uh, that wasn't from the Century booth. That speaker might not work again. So after somebody's that. audio visual equipment just took a dump. Yeah. Uh, that was not here. But uh, yeah, we know that the. Uh, the cost of all this real estate is not cheap, and we appreciate the fact that those guys were willing to dedicate that uh, this space to us for actually three days. I was going to say two, yeah. but we've been doing this for three days. So a big shout out to Century Arms and those guys over there. We've got Jeremiah here as our final guest from Right On, their uh, optics company. Jeremiah, tell us a little bit about your company and the products. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me too. We're uh, we're so we're a veteran law enforcement owned company out of Tucson, Arizona. Been in business about six years. We started with mainly tactical optics and we've run our, our line through just about anything and uh, this year we released a whole new line of everything so we have a primal a conquer and a tactics line and we, we set this up with uh, like how do you how do you buy a scope right and so I always ask people what do you want to do with it and how much money do you have to spend yeah. we can talk about the details later right but so that's what it is are you is it a hunting scope long-range precision scope or a tactical scope so you buy that and then there's an X1, X3, X5, X7. Okay. X1 being an entry level kind of scope. And you guys just launched this as of this Yeah, one. January 1. Okay. Yeah, X7 being kind of all the bells and whistles. Okay. And uh, we've done we've done a lot. We're, so we've integrated throw levers into every single one of the optics. Okay. There, you can remove the throw lever and put in a cap so it maintains like waterproofing. Okay. So that's kind of, you know, and it was hard because some people want it, some people don't. Yeah. We went back and forth. I was like... Yeah. Make it removable. Right. We can have it either way. Right. So, because so, I remember I was at, sorry, I was at TurgoCon. Um, when was that? It was a few months <laughs> back, like maybe five months, six yeah, months back. Yeah, six months. And, um, and that's the first time that I saw your guys' products, and I was really, really impressed with the quality and the price. So, yeah. has that changed then since you've come out with a, a whole new line? No, the quality and price hasn't. It's just got better, quite okay. honestly. So, and but price is kind of steep. yeah, we added we added some lower priced and some higher priced optics. Okay. We maintain that middle ground where there's a lot of buyers, but uh, you know we added a whole lot of zero stops. We added you know a whole lot of illumination, a whole lot of first focal plane, a whole lot of 30 millimeter tubes or 34 millimeter tubes. So we just we upgraded, beefed everything up. Price wise, you're still looking to get the same great price. It's all HD glass and everything. Um, and then the, the X7s and some of the X5s are actually HD ED glass, EDs. And what does that mean exactly? Yeah, so, well, for one, HD uh, means high density, mm -hmm. not high definition. So just kind of, the denser that glass is pushed together, that sand's pushed together, the, the less, uh, the clearer it is. And then the ED is extra low dispersion. So if you've ever seen a rainbow, uh -huh. there's some dispersion there, right? That's been that light has been split up. Well, if that optic, there's a lot of that going on. Okay. And so what you don't want is for it to lose. You don't want to lose that focus as it comes in. So it, it pushes it all. It's, it does spread it out inevitably, but it, it pushes it back together and it's extra low on the dispersion. And so clarity is way better. Uh, nighttime, you know, dusk and dawn stuff's better. I think colors, like they're vibrant. Like I might be getting blind, but the colors are just more vibrant through the scope than they ever are with the naked eye. Uh, so that's, that's, that's extra low dispersion or ED glass. So and all those X7s I mentioned, that's all, we do all that in Japan. Uh, try to do all our high end stuff there, so. Very nice. We're excited, there's a bunch of cool stuff going on. I, and, and so the, okay, so let's say like, what's your best optic right now? Best like optic for long distance shooting. For long distance, so mm -hmm. you, you've got my attention. I there is a three to twenty-four by fifty 
MOA scopes. It's second focal plane. I like uh -huh. second focal plane. But we're talking long distance. I'm talking a couple miles, uh -huh. yeah. no mile minimum. Well, because I, I mean, I would, so I recently shot a mile. Yeah. I would like to shoot. Thank you. It was actually fairly easy. Yeah, it's easier than people think. Yeah. Fundamentals. Get the fundamentals yeah, down. Exactly. Do the as math. It's like a good trigger pull when you yes. have, you know, you can you do say, it. The, the fundamentals yeah. down. But um, I would love to shoot like two miles or, you know, or even like a mile and a half. Yeah. 2,000. Do 2,000 next, then 2,500. Yeah. Walk it out like that, and that's the way to go. Have but the right caliber. the problem is, is like, I mean, if you can't see where you're shooting at, it's not, you could be a great trigger puller, but you're not going to hit your target. Right. Well, and at those distances, you're going to need a base, too. Yeah. We have some 20 and 30 MOA bases. For two miles, you're going to need even more than that. But the scope that I would recommend, that 3 to 24, and people get caught up in, the high power. We have a 32 power scope, and people are like, "That's not a long range scope." And I'm like, "No, you're gonna, you're gonna stop about 18 to 21 power. Uh -huh. You need to be able to see where your impacts are, so you need a wide field of view, um, and you just end up magnifying any distortion or anything that's out there. So it's better to back up. So three to 24 by 50. Uh, it's 130 MOA of internal adjustment. Uh, so and then another 25 in the reticle. So I would, and it's second focal plane, it's a thin reticle, that's the one I would choose for, for long distance shooting or hunting, honestly. And, and what is the price point for that? Price point on that one, MSRP on that one's probably about uh, $22.99. Okay. And then map pricing, minimum advertised, what it'll actually go for on the street, probably closer to $1,700 and change, something like that. Nice. Uh, to me, that's a... That's, that's a yeah. $3,500 scope yeah. with all those, uh, those well, are stainless I mean, steel internals, I mean right. that thing's crisp, it's amazing. Yeah, and I mean you look at like some of your, I guess, competitors um, and what you're getting and it's like at the end of the day I feel like you're very much like praying, you're just paying for that, that brand, that name and not necessarily the quality. The, which, you know, the, <clears throat> I thought I was going to get in trouble about three shot shows ago, the owner was with us and we got asked a thousand times, never heard of you, what makes you guys different, you know, and finally I told the guy, well, what we do is we take a piece of aluminum and then we put glass in each end of it. And I just set the scope down. It was quiet, but everybody laughed and yeah. I was like, look, there's only, there's only so much. We are cutting edge, we're using the best materials. We quality control the crud out of everything that we do. But, you know, it's about service. It's about a veteran-owned company. We do right on university for training. We've got manuals. We've got radical manuals. If you call, you're going to talk to a person. So, I mean, largely we're selling ourselves as a company, and then the products have to be amazing after that. So, yeah, I agree. Well, you guys are at booth 428 here at SHOT Show, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, online, where can people take a look at your products? Just right on optics.com, uh, you know, and, and then everywhere, social media-wise, it's pretty easy to find us. Okay, and it, and it is, because I sought you guys out, and it's the first search that you find on uh, yep. social media, so. We've got some cool friends, so we, we pop up a lot. Hoist Gracie's at our booth nice. pretty frequently. We've got some tier one military guys that are at our booth. You're the second guest today that has some interaction with MMA guys. So yeah, cool. yeah. It's uh, They're cool guys. Yeah. So we had fun. The whole Gracie family. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, good deal. Yes, sir. Well, cool. Jeremiah, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, right on Optics. I appreciate you coming by here and uh, giving us a visit. And we will certainly catch up and follow up with your products online. And hope to see you guys again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Last one, guys. What's up? Yeah. We got beer at our booth right now. Ooh. I'm just saying.